Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's topic is role of vitamins in energy metabolism and physical well-being. We'll be taking this video in two parts where we'll discuss role of vitamins in physical well-being as well as role of vitamins in energy metabolism. So before moving further, let's first see what are vitamins. So vitamins are vital micronutrients. We call them vital amines that cannot be synthesized endogenously or in insufficient amounts and the principal means by which we get vitamins is through our diet vitamins can classify we can classify them as uh, water soluble and fat soluble so they actually are organic components in food that are needed in very small amounts for growth and for maintaining good health and they are required in small quantities in the diet because we can't synthesize synthesize them inside our body and they are helpful for the health and life of the body they help us in preventing and curing various diseases and also helps us to build up resistance against diseases so uh, vitamins they also have role in digestion and utilization of mineral salts and carbohydrates in the body they help to stimulate and give strength to digestive system and nervous system further vitamins can be classified as water soluble and fat soluble as i said earlier so uh, the fat soluble ones we have vitamin a d vitamin e and vitamin k fat soluble vitamins play integral role in a multitude of physiological processes such as vision bone health immune function and coagulation whereas water soluble vitamins they dissolve in water and we can categorize them as non b complex and b complex in non b complex category we only have vitamin c whereas in b complex category we classify them on the basis of their function as energy releasing also they help in hematopoiesis and there are many other functions so in the energy releasing category we have vitamin b1 thiamine vitamin b2 riboflavin vitamin b3 niacin biotin and pantothenic acid and here we have folic acid and vitamin b12 in hematopoietic category other than that we have pyridoxin b6 pyridoxal and pyridoxamine now fat soluble vitamins they dissolve in organic solvents and are absorbed and transported in a manner similar to that of fat that's why we call them fat soluble whereas water soluble vitamins they dissolve in water and excess amount usually are excreted by the kidneys so we have vitamin b1 2 3 5 6 7 9 and 12 so now let's take up fat soluble vitamins one by one in this video first of all vitamin a so vitamin a is required for the maintenance of normal vision in animals the body stores vitamin a as a molecule called retinol it occurs naturally in foods of animal origin such as liver butter whole milk egg yolk and cheese we derive vitamin a from plant sources also in the form of plant carotenoids which convert to retinol during digestion in fact plants abundant in vitamin a include dark uh, green leafy vegetables like spinach and also we have carrots yellow maize mangoes and papayas uh, the body converts certain carotenoids to vitamin a and carotenoids and retinoids basically come under the category of vitamin a only 50 of more than 500 naturally occurring carotenoids have pro vitamin a activity and vitamin a has been found to have role in vision immune function gene transcription and skin and cellular health next we have vitamin d vitamin d is found primarily in two forms vitamin d2 and d3 The active form of vitamin D promotes intestinal absorption of calcium and phosphorus and it influences bone mineralization also. 
vitamin D2 is produced by UV radiation of the ergosterol and vitamin D2 is present in certain food also such as salmon, tuna and smaller quantities are uh, present in beef liver, cheese and egg yolk. Many countries fortify natural milk with vitamin D and vitamin D3 is formed by the action of sunlight on the precursor 7-D hydrocholesterol in the skin. Uh, this is a practice implemented to decrease the prevalence of rickets and osteomalacia and vitamin D3 is also called sunshine vitamin. It occurs naturally in animal foods only. So after vitamin A and D we have vitamin E. Vitamin E is an important uh, antioxidant that is thought to protect polyunsaturated fatty acids from oxidative destruction in cell membrane. The predominant form of vitamin A is alpha tocopherol. However, other tocopherols and tocotrienols are also present in circulation such as alpha, gamma, beta and delta forms. And its activity in food is due to the presence of tocopherols and tocotrienols which are compounds of plant origin. The most important form is alpha tocopherol and uh, beta and gamma forms are less active. Naturally occurring sources of vitamin E include vegetable oils, nuts, seeds, whole grains and wheat germ. Vitamin A content is low in animal foods. Next we have vitamin K. Vitamin K is needed in the liver for formation of several blood clotting factors and it has two primary uh, forms vitamin K1 and vitamin K2. Vitamin K1 is called phyloquinone and it is synthesized by plants. It is present in green leafy vegetables, cabbages, cauliflowers. Lesser quantities are present in fish, meat and some fruits also. And vitamin K2 homologues, which is called minoquinones, they are synthesized by bacteria. Uh, the gut microflora synthesizes vitamin K2. The human body can obtain vitamin K from dietary sources as well as through synthesis by the gut microflora. And larger amount is present in dark green leafy vegetables and lower level in cereals, dairy products, meat and fruits. So that's all about fat soluble vitamins and in our next video we will be discussing an, about role of vitamins in energy metabolism and we will discuss that in detail how uh, actually vitamins play a role because they help in formation of coenzymes and all and that's how they help in energy metabolic reactions and that's all about the video. Hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.